Today 6, On Your Side at 5, with 10 minutes of nonstop news. And the On Your Side forecast starts now. The Democrats and the White House are in an aggressive push for renewed gun control legislation. The fear they might succeed is fueling a massive surge for concealed weapon permits in Idaho. We're going straight to the big story with today's Six on Your Side. The prospect of increased gun control laws has more Idahoans rushing to buy weapons, and that's led to a in huge increase in those seeking a concealed weapons permit. Concealed carry classes filling up fast, and our Eric Fink shows us just what you need to do to get a permit. He joins us live with much more in tonight's big story. You know, Don Michelle, I'm from Southern California. I did not grow up around guns, and I have little knowledge of guns. And at this concealed carry class, it was the first time in my life I fired a gun. There you go. The pros knew that this newbie couldn't just graduate to firing an AR-15. Before handling that gun and others on the range, I spent hours in class with a 38 revolver on my person in a holster learning about different caliber firearms, how to position these tools, and how to aim. Understanding the situation should be immediate and grave before a person draws a weapon. Concealed carry permit is an exercise of numerous responsibilities for us as law-abiding citizens just to show our state and show our fellow people how much we really care about them, that we care enough to take training and to carry this tool for our own and their own self-defense. Robert Crone is a licensed NRA firearms instructor who holds two concealed carry classes a month at his Nampa gun shop. He says since Newtown, enrollment greatly increased. We've gone from one class a month to two full classes a month. We're signing people up. 50% of the class are no, are women. One of those women in my class, Casey Phelan, a stay-at-home mom who first handled the gun when she was five. I'm there to protect myself and my kids. That's my job, and I'm not going to allow myself or my kids to be a victim. There are bad guys, let's face it. People break in, and I am not going to be at somebody else's mercy. People that have never bought guns before are now buying guns. And what they're telling me is they're worried about losing their right to own a gun. And then once they buy a gun, they want to get the training to know how to use it properly. We are armed. Our guns are loaded. After the classroom portion, I learned to properly fire a gun at the targets on the range. But not without many misses at first. Missed that. And missed it badly. Yeah. Yeah. Badly. And after some practice and expert tips from the pros, I felt more comfortable. Eric, these are yours. You're in there. We're midway through our shooting practice, and for our next round, Robert and the fellow instructors will move us side to side, Two forward shots. and back, closer to the target, always keeping focus on center mass. One shot in the head, make it count. After four hours in class and two hours firing on the range, Robert handed me my certificate to apply for a concealed carry permit. Mr. Eric, <laughs> nicely done. How about that? Well done. I still have to wait two to six weeks to clear a background check to get my permit. Good that people are actually coming out to do training. That alone can help save people because they're using a gun now that they know how to use and not just going to the gun store, buying it, taking it home, sticking it in a sock, sock drawer and never shooting it. That was Good a little time grip. for some fun. Robert gave Squeeze me some one-on-one -on -one instruction with a machine yeah, gun and AR-15. Oh. Really with several hours of training hand behind hand. me and only a few rounds, no doubt exhilarating, I still wasn't ready to bring out the big guns. Squeeze. There you go. Well, it was a great experience. The Idaho Concealed Weapons Permit is honored by 25 other states. And coming up tonight, I'll tell you why elected leaders here in the state of Idaho are not required to have a permit to carry concealed. That is part two. It comes up tonight right here, live at 10. Eric Fink, Today 6 on your side.